So obviously we know the Tampa Bay Buccaneers won Super Bowl 55 in dominating fashion versus the Kansas City Chiefs 31-9. to Tom Brady takes home his fifth Super Bowl MVP trophy. Tom Brady has now won seven Super Bowls, the most Super Bowls out of any player in NFL history. He now has more Super Bowl victories than any NFL franchise. People, Tom Brady in the game versus Kansas City completed 72% of his throws. He threw for 201 yards passing, had three passing touchdowns, and had a 125.8 pass rating. And Tom Brady, by winning his seventh Super Bowl, to me, this is his biggest accomplishment of all time, his greatest accomplishment of all time. And that's saying a lot because Tom Brady, he's accomplished a ton in his NFL career. He's the most accomplished quarterback by far. It's not even close. He's the greatest quarterback of all time. It's not even close at this point. And this, to me, was Tom Brady's greatest challenge, him deciding to go to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, establish his own culture, bring in his guys, really hone in and take on a new offense, a new challenge, a team that did not know how to win, and Tom Brady made it happen. This is Tom Brady's biggest achievement as a pro athlete, and he won a Super Bowl and became Super Bowl MVP versus Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs at 43 years old. At 43 years old, Tom Brady today is still arguably one of the 5 to 10 best quarterbacks in all football. What we are witnessing, people, is history beyond measures, okay? And Tom Brady, at 43 years old, changes sceneries, leaves New England, says, okay, Bill Belichick, you know, listen, we had a great run. You want to move on. I want to move on. I want a new challenge. That's completely fine with me. I'm going to go to Tampa Bay, where I see a really good young defense, an elite wide receiver core, and I see an aggressive head coach in Bruce Arians that wants to throw the football down the field, that's going to be loose and allow me to have fun. I'm going to bring Rob Gronkowski. I'm going to bring Antonio Brown. I'm going to bring all these great players with me to Tampa Bay, and I'm going to say, okay, Bill Belichick, watch this. And what do you know, Tom Brady, he accomplished, I'm not going to say the mere impossible, just because I expected Tampa Bay to win the Super Bowl. If you go back and watch you know, some of my older shows and segments. I picked the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to beat the Kansas City Chiefs all the way back in September of 2020. In the preseason, well, we didn't have a pre we didn't have preseason games this year, obviously because of, you know, COVID and whatnot. But in the offseason, before the NFL season officially started, I said, with Tom Brady going to Tampa Bay to join up with this talented squad. I'm sorry, Jameis Winston, you're a, good, you're a quarterback that has potential, but Jameis is the problem. Tom Brady's going to come in. He's going to be an accurate distributor of the football. He's going to change that culture in Tampa Bay. And he's got a loaded squad. And as long as Tom Brady you know, can be an accurate distributor, learn that offense, pick it up pretty quickly, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to dominate, and they're going to win a Super Bowl. And Tom Brady not only proved me right, but he proved himself right because – Deep down, Tom Brady knew that he proved everyone wrong that evaluated him back in college. They might, there might have been some scouts out there that were high up, that were high on Tom Brady, but I dare you to find the scout that was out there, you know, twenty plus years ago, saying, you know, Tom Brady's worth the number one overall pick in the draft. That that scout does not exist, virtually. Okay, so Tom Brady, he proves everyone wrong because. A lot of people wrote him off in college, and he was a sixth-round pick. And looking back, he should have been the number one player taken in that draft. Tom Brady wins several Super Bowls early on in his career, but people say he's a game-managing quarterback. He goes out there in 2007, he wins a league MVP, and sets records with Randy Moss. Tom Brady, people said that he was washed, he was no good, he, he continues to extend his prime, and even people after he lost in the playoffs to the Tennessee Titans, they were st saying the same thing. Tom Brady's fought off a cliff. And Tom Brady said, okay, watch this. Let me go to a whole new team without Bill Belichick and just completely destroy all the arguments against me and prove once and for all I'm the greatest of all time and there should be no debate about it. And he might have just went on the greatest playoff run for a quarterback in NFL history. I do believe that Eli Manning in his two Super Bowl runs definitely 
is going to give Tom Brady a run for his money just based on who had the greatest run to a Super Bowl victory because Eli Manning, he beat Aaron Rodgers, he beat really good teams, you know, really good quarterbacks. He beat Brett Favre once. He beat Tony Romo once in the playoffs. He beat a really good 49ers team and ultimately knocked out the Patriots twice in the biggest game. So you can pick or choose which run to the Super Bowl that Eli Manning had was the best. I'd say the first one in which he beat the undefeated Patriots, which to me was probably the greatest upset maybe in sports history at the time. Um, yeah, when he did that, that probably was his greatest playoff run. That playoff run matches up with any playoff run in history, but I mean, what Tom Brady did, beating an elite Washington defense in the wild card round, beating Drew Brees in his own, in his, in his own stadium on the road in the division round of the playoffs, goes into Lambeau Field and beats Aaron Rodgers in the NFC Championship game, and then absolutely destroys Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs in the Super Bowl. You know, and Tom Brady really truly is the American dream. And people say, Tom Brady's played with a lot of great teams. He gets all the breaks. And ultimately, you might be right. But guess what? In the end, don't you kind of think Tom Brady is due for a couple of breaks? Because Tom Brady had to fight in college to start games. He was not the full-time starter at Michigan. He was a six-round pick. Nothing was handed to Tom Brady. So, look, you can say... I hate Tom Brady due to the fact that he continues to destroy he continues to destroy my team. He continues to take Super Bowl championships away from my favorite quarterback. That's fine, but at least go out there and say you respect Tom Brady. Okay, I'm not the type to tell people how to think, but it baffles me that people hate on Tom Brady and continue to try to diminish his greatness because in reality, people, Tom Brady has earned everything that he's been given. He was not handed anything on a silver spoon platter, when he entered the NFL, he had to work for every ounce of success that he's ever had, he was not handed anything, and Tom Brady overcame his physical limitations, he overcame being a sixth round pick, and now he's the greatest quarterback of all time, that's the American dream to me, okay, if you, if you put your head down, you work hard, you have great people skills, great leadership, and when you get your chance, you knock out the park, you have a chance to have a lot of success in this world. And Tom Brady, he's the perfect example of that. So congratulations to Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They proved me right. And ultimately, no one else can really say anything really negative about Tom Brady other than maybe the cheating scandals, you know. And he really wasn't, you know, fully responsible for that. That was more so Bill Belichick and the coaching staff and the organization doing that. Tom Brady obviously benefited from some of the cheating, but... He wasn't the actual one truly doing the cheating, in my opinion. So that's how I feel about Tom Brady. He's unbelievable. And I won't be shocked if Tom Brady and the Buccaneers end up maybe winning a Super Bowl again within the next two to three years. They're that talented. Tom Brady continues to really take care of his body. He's still, to this day, a top 10 quarterback, maybe even a top five quarterback when you really look into things because he just beat some of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. He beat three Super Bowl MVP quarterbacks on his way to winning a Super Bowl. He beat Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers, and Patrick Mahomes. Those are three of the best quarterbacks this game has ever seen. And Tom Brady, with a great supporting cast around him, no doubt about it, was able to knock them off, play his best football when it mattered most. Congratulations, Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You deserve this. And Tom Brady, he's a legend beyond New England now. He's a legend with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as well. He's got a darn good resume, and I don't think Tom Brady's resume will ever be matched. He's the greatest quarterback of all time, arguably one of the greatest athletes of all time, no doubt about it, and he deserves a ton of praise today. 100%. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. 
and I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows or if I fall short of that goal I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks so if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Lurt Sports Podcast. Stay motivated you guys. Have a God blessed day and I'm out.